Hello again, everyone. Mark Ray Mundy for ESPN. Uh, back with you with Leon Edwards. How about this? UFC welterweight contender, one of the uh, top guys in the 170-pound division. Uh, definitely wanted to talk to you this week, Leon, uh, for uh, various reasons. But, of course, there is a big welterweight title fight on Saturday at UFC 251. So, first of all, uh, I mean, how, how are things in the UK right now? What is what is life like there? I know it's different in, in every country. So, what what is... Is it is it locked down or gyms open? What what is life like right now for you? It's it's, it's kind of getting better and better as time goes on. The opening restaurants and bars last week, just saying. Hopefully by twenty fifth of July, the gyms will be open. So um, we're still kind of look like a little lockdown kind of. So no gyms are open yet. So I've been trying to do the best I can really, like training in my house or one to one with my coaches. And and when the gyms open, uh, I guess you'll be you know on day one. You'll be you'll be right in there. Right yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I've rushed to go. Um, I've, I've been itching. I've been trained properly. Um, since my father cancelled in March, um, we made a headline um London because I couldn't I couldn't get into the gym. You know, I got, got a little like I said a home gym in my house, but uh, that's only so much you can do. You know what I mean? So it's all good. No training partners, no sparring, nothing like that. I'm inspired. Um, got, I got my brother. Um, he, he, he competes as well. So I've been doing like back and forth like jujitsu with him like in, in the garage and sure. Um, sure. That, so that's that's about it, really. Is this baby and getting ready for uh, Bellator's return? Hopefully, that's coming around the bend uh, soon too. Still waiting on news, right, to see when when the next show is going to be in, in yeah. Europe. And go from there. Do you think it'll be a, a big challenge when the gym opens back up to you know keep it clean and keep everyone healthy? Because I mean, if you look just now uh, in the UFC, there are corners dropping out. Uh, you know, it, it seems like it's uh, it's all uh, the same gym. If you guys are together in the gym one, two, three guys maybe, you know, catch it. Uh, is that going to be a challenge, you think? Um, I think you're putting the right the right structure in the gym. It should be okay. You know what I mean? Like trying to keep training partners, training with, with each other, like not keep changing partners. Like one person stick with one, with one person. Uh, that's probably the best way to do it, probably. Um, otherwise, it's going to be hard to monitor it to see. If you've got like 20 guys in the mat, it'd be hard to monitor 20 guys, you know what I mean? Right. You don't know what doing what they're doing after the gym so it, it, it will be hard but I, I feel we can do it are you guys gonna do like temperature checks that kind of stuff before anyone comes in yeah i, I, I believe so my coach yeah. already told, uh, told me that he's gonna um put that in place to to um for the fires and send out like letters to the fires so we know what's gonna happen in the gym got it got it Want, wanted to rewind um about six weeks ago the ufc is trying to put together Kamaru usman versus jorge mazadal for the welterweight title and you know, the negotiations break down with Masvidal and, and he's out of the fight. And one of the, the first guys that people think of who could fill in and fight Usman in, in July is you, Leon Edwards. Uh, you know, you're one of the top guys in the division on a long winning streak. Um, uh, what you, you put out a statement explaining that you actually passed in that fight and they did actually contact you. Could you explain what, what happened in that in that circumstance? Um, well, they contacted me four weeks out. So we weren't six weeks, it's like four weeks out. And um, they followed my management team saying, would I, would I be able to base, to do to do the fight basically? Um, so I went back. I spoke to my coaches to see what we could do to try get into the gym um, to see if we can get some training plans together and train. And it, it wasn't possible to get done. So just that's it really. I, I couldn't get to the training in to do it. You know what I mean? And I know I know in America, the, you know, especially in Florida, they already opened up already and they've been mm -hmm. like training time in the gym. You know what I mean? And it just wouldn't be fair for me to go and put myself in that situation where I haven't prepared the best I could for a tower shot. How difficult was that for you to, I mean, it's a very real situation. It's a global crisis, right? But yeah. you want that title shot so bad. We know we know you do. You've spoken about it so many times. So how hard was that? It, it, it was devastating to even have an opportunity taken away from me again. You know what I mean? I lost my fight in March because of coronavirus and I lost this because of coronavirus. You know what I mean? So it's heartbreaking, but there's, there's not much I can do. You know what I mean? So I keep working, keep chipping away, and I know my time is coming. I know I'll be a world, be a world champion, so it's all good. So then last week, uh, there was more changes in that fight, of course. Uh, Gilbert Burns came down with uh, COVID-19, had to pull out, and uh, Masvidal slipped in again. You know, the original opponent that was supposed to be there for his kind of came back in. Did they, did they contact you again last week? Did, did, they, did they reach out to you at all? Nah, nah not, 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 not heard of. But, um, nah, man didn't send nothing to me, so I don't, I don't think so. Had, think had they, would that have changed yeah. anything? Go on, say again? H had they reached out, would that have changed anything? Um, Have you been able to fight? Probably not. I'm probably way too heavy to even fight in a week. <laughs> on a week's noise, uh, probably not. But I'm looking forward to fighting the winner of this fight. So I'm watching closely on Saturday. 
Yeah, that's my next question. Is that is that kind of kind of title fight or bust at this point for you? Is that is that a hundred percent what you want? Um, I feel so. I feel so. I've done enough work to to prove my case. You know, what I mean, I'm on eight fight win streak, second most to the to the current champion now, Usman. You know, what I mean, so I I, I feel like I deserve a title shot. I only lost my opportunity because of coronavirus. Um, same as Burns, he lost the opportunity because of coronavirus. You know, what I mean. Right. I was the first person mentioned to 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 get the fight, so why not put me in in the place again to to compete again? So I I truly believe I, I deserve it over everyone. It's so crowded right now at the top of that division, and and Burns is kind of like a newcomer to that mix because yeah. he had the two the two big wins recently. I mean, it's got to be the best division, right? I mean, in in the UFC, I mean, I know 50, 55 is great, forty five, thirty five, but I mean, at one seventy right now, it's pretty it's pretty stacked. Yeah. You know that for a while, I've been quite stuck now for a while, but it's good to have like a little bit of movement now in the division. As before, it was like all stuck, right? Nobody wants to fight nobody. So now Marcelo's is fighting Usman. Let's see how that plays out on the weekend and we'll go from there. And what do you think they do end up doing with Burns? Do you think he, you know, fights somebody else in the meantime and then, you know, maybe a title shot later on? Yeah, maybe give him Colby probably. Probably give him one more, let him fight Colby and then I'll fight the winner of um, Saturday then. From that, I, I, we'll go from there. But I, I, I believe he, he should have one more, um, one, one more fight. This fight on um, Saturday, uh, you know, on Fight Island, has to be really interesting for you because you kind of have a story with both men in some ways because you fought Usman before, and you know he's yeah. he's, he's he's spoken very highly of you, and and he's spoken of you as as the top contender. And then you have you know Jorge Masvidal, of course. You had that incident with last uh, last year in New London. How do you see that that fight playing out? Um. I don't know. I don't, if I have to bet, if I bet my money on it, I'd probably go Usman. Because um, he's, he's a more well-rounded fighter. He's, he's bigger, he's stronger. He's been, he's been more active. So I'd probably go Usman, probably, for the um, victory. But no, Master, though, he's got, he's got a puncher's chance, right? So you can go in there and look at him to Ben Askin. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can go in there and spark him. You never know. So, But if I had to put my money on it, I'd probably go Usman. Do you think, you think it, it'll be a, a wrestling versus striking type of uh, matchup? Mm, yeah, I believe so. Uh, to be fair, Usman been trying to strike a lot lately, so I don't know. It depends on what game plan um, he has going into the fight. I know everyone talking about Masvidal going in on a late notice. Mm-hmm. You got been training for Usman for the last two, two to three months. He's been posting on his social media, training as in doing this and doing that, wrestlers. You know what I mean? So he's been preparing for this fight for the last two to three months, which Usman been preparing for two people, Burns and, and Masvidal. So. It's interesting to see what what happened this weekend. So you think that the discussion of of you know Maslow coming in on short notice is a little bit overplayed? Do you think that he's already yeah. he's already he's ready? Yeah, hundred percent. He's been posting like he's training wrestling and training for for months for Usman. You know what I mean? So that's all just smoke screams and me is just something. It's not. So if if Usman were to win uh, as you as you think as you're picking, uh, do you think it's a decision? Yeah, probably decision or finish finish him late, probably. Um, yeah, probably like four or five. If it, if it does get a finish, it'd be, it'd be four or five, like late. I don't think it'd be early. So that's your that's your 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 prediction. But do you have like a desire as to who you'd actually want to fight next? Like, would you rather fight Masvidal? Uh, I don't know. Cause Usman the last guy that beat me in competition, right? So mm-hmm. I don't know. Probably be Usman than defend against Masvidal or. Either or, I, I couldn't care less who wins. Um, I, I, I'm number one and I, I couldn't care less. Masvidal told uh, Ariel Hawani the other night that if he wins the title from Usman, he's looking at, you know, Nate Diaz as a, as a you, you already know what I'm going to say, he's looking at Nate Diaz yeah. as, as a top contender, looking at Stephen Wonderboy Thompson as a, as, a, as a top contender. Obviously, they're great fighters, but how does that make you feel as someone who, who has that long winning streak in the division? Um... The guy is a, is a clown, so if, if it does win, he, he's already said what he's going to do. You know what I mean? He's going to fight guys not even in the top five. Um, he's going to fight Nate Diaz. He's basically a, a, just a tough journeyman. Um, he's going to fight um, Wonderboy or knocked out by, by a lightweight. This doesn't make sense, what he's saying, what, what he's going to do if, if it does win. You know what I mean? So, um, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what happens. This weekend. Gilbert Burns said the same thing the other day about this in the interview. Uh, he's, he's rooting for Usman, not because he's just his teammate, but also because he feels like the division may turn into a circus if yeah, Masvidal yeah. is the champion. Is that yeah, how you feel sure. as well? Well, for sure, 100%. He's already, he's already said it. He's not fighting no one, in, no one in the top five. You know what I mean? So if you're the champion, you're not fighting no one in the top five, then it's one big joke. He's not really – it's fake, right? So I don't know. One, one would think, because the history that you guys have, and there is a legitimate beef there, 
that Masvidal would want to fight you because there is money in that matchup. One, one would think. Why do you think he doesn't say your name? Hang on, he's, he's been running from the day in London. I mean, he's, he's not mentioned my name since that day. He's been running and making excuses, and now, but well, he, he, his day will come, and I, I cannot wait to put my hands on him. So you said the the gym is opening up probably in in late July. Uh, oh, yeah. When and and I know there's there's travel issues and uh, you know there's a whole host of things and and I mean the world right now honestly uh, as we all know is almost impossible to predict you know yeah. even what's going to happen tomorrow at this point. But yeah. do you have any idea you know when would be like a timeline for you to get back in there? Me, I I probably to go in late August, early September probably. And I heard they're going back in going back to Abu Dhabi in September. I'm mm-hmm. hearing about that. So that that'd be good to go there. Cause we can we can go back and forth now to Abu Dhabi. We just can't go to the states or nowhere like that. You know what I mean? So um, even that that's one thing as well. Like when I was negotiating the fight about taking a title fight, I was like, oh, where is it? I didn't know where it was because I all fight Ireland and right. they, they wouldn't say where it was, right? So I was like, oh, where's the fight? But they wouldn't say where. So that even played a part in me to make my decision. You know what I mean? So this it is. Like I said, I'm ready to go. Hopefully in late August, early September. And and speak, speaking of travel, when you know when that fight fell off with Woodley, the one that was supposed to be in London back in March, um, and, and you know you put out that statement saying there's just no way you'd be able to you know feasibly travel for that and then come back. I mean, yeah. at that time, I feel like maybe people didn't know the severity of what was going to happen over the next few months, right? You know, now looking yeah. back, do you feel yeah. almost uh, do you feel almost vindicated now um, by by that decision to you know not uh, you know make make a crazy uh, trip, you know, kind of in the in the middle of the night and uh, and go to the states for that fight? Yeah, hundred percent. Because even like after I made the decision, two days after they canceled the old event, anyway. That's, you know that's I mean? so right. That's right. Yeah. Let's say I did go to to the stage, so I would have been stuck there with my team for however long. I, I don't know. You know what I mean? They probably still be there now. So, um, yeah. Um, is it is it's done and it's passed, and I made the right decision. So ideal scenario for you on on you know moving forward. You're, I'm sure you're gonna watch on on Saturday. Uh, Usman versus yeah. Oswald, correct? correct. Yeah. Um, so ideal scenario, Usman wins and you get him sometime in the fall in, in Abu Dhabi. Is that kind of what you're you're pointing toward? That that that'll be perfect. That'll be the perfect scenario for um if that happens. Because I know if Marcelo wins, he, he probably won't fight now to like another year and you're calling out every everyone apart from the top five on, under the sun, you know what I mean? So um that that'll be the perfect scenario. I have one more question for you. Um there's another interesting fight. It's not in your division, but it's a guy that is a countryman of yours, Darren Till, coming up against uh Robert Whitaker in a few weeks here in Abu Dhabi. Uh, really interesting middleweight fight. How do you see that one playing out? That That's one of the more interesting fights of, of the of the month for me for the, with those yeah. two guys. Um, I think I think Darren Darren gets it done. I think I think Darren gets it done. He is, he, I think he wants it more. I know Wichka's coming out lately saying, oh, he's not really feeling fighting and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? So I think for, I think Darren gets it done for skill set wise and, um, he's more hungry for the for the victory, probably. So I'll probably give it to Darren. And plus, me and Darren now will start like a charity. Um, me, him, and oh. Jimmy. Me, me, Jimmy, and Darren for knife crimes in the UK. Um, so we're all together now trying to um, control knife crimes for all lost um, people, like friends to knife crimes. And um, Darren himself has been involved in, in stabbings and stuff. You know what I mean? And it's a very big issue in the UK. And um, we all come together now to try sort out something to help the youths in the UK. That's awesome. Do you, do you have a name for the for the charity yet? Oh, not yet. It was just still literally today. It was like Jimmy for, Jimmy Manuel for me today. He's like, oh, we need to create a name for the charity. But we got everyone on board. We got UFC on board, and um, got talking to the police in in in, in the UK, and they're they're on board. And so it's it's a positive thing, and it's it's moving forward. You know what I mean? So I look forward to it blossoming more and and and, and getting action done. And all three of you guys live in in different cities as well, so that could be, you're you're kind of spread out, yeah. Exactly. This and the three cities is like Manchester, um, Liverpool, London, and Birmingham. Are the three major cities in the UK, right? And it's right. the more violent cities in the UK. So for us to come together and to say, uh, let's try help the kids and try um get you can save one kid, it would be great. You know what I mean? So um, that's our aim, and that's what we're trying to do. Please uh, keep us uh, in the loop on all that stuff and and what you guys end up doing. Right. So you know we can we can amplify that and, and let the UFC that's fans right. know so so they can uh, they can help out as well. Um, that, that's all for me, man. Uh, Leon Edwards, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate taking the time. I know, I know you're busy. Uh, good luck with everything. Hope you can get back thank in the gym you. soon. Stay safe, stay healthy. Same, brother. Same to you. Look after yourself. Thanks. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.